Hello everyone, welcome back to Angela's Craft Room. Today I'm taking you through a tutorial on some note cards. Now I have orientated these note cards for mail cards. We seem to struggle with making cards for males. Like we do a lot of cards with flowers and and lots of lacy things but I just really wanted to do a couple of tutorials for you this month just on male themed cards. Now I have made the little tote bag for the note cards to fit into. This will be a two part tutorial. The first part I'm going to just show you how I made the note cards and then I'll come back at a later time and show you how I made the tote bag as well and I've stamped it with the train from the traveller stamps it and just made a little tag tied it on with some ribbon just um, layered the tag with some stamping up punches that I had so that's the tote bag now getting to the note cards I made six and they fit very easily in that tote bag with matching envelopes now the easiest way to buy your note cards rather than cut up all your card stock is to purchase the Whisper White note cards and envelopes from Stamping Up. This I've got one pack here I have opened it to make these note cards but that's how it comes and you get 20 envelopes and 20 note cards all scored so it's just a really good value and the order number for that one if you're wanting to know it and you're in Australia the code is 131527 okay so getting back to the note cards I'll just zoom in a little, a little bit for you while I'm just showing you these note cards now I've I have used the traveler stamp set on these note cards where you get one, two, three, four, five, six different stamped images and that's why I've I have made six note cards. I've used every image on each note card so that you have six matching note cards to go into your little tote bag. Okay and the little sentiment I've used a little thanks that has come from the lovely stamp set one big meaning which has just so many different ways to say thank you in that one and you get seven stamps in that set too so they're two stamp sets that are really worth having I also used the washi punch to um, punch out my sentiment I would recommend that you just get some scrap paper like I did I used the very vanilla some scrap paper in that color and I just stamped a little thanks on them and then I just punched it out with the washi punch which makes life so much easier so first I'll just go I'll just show you the six and I have done matching envelopes so whatever is on the front of the card that's what I've stamped on the envelope so first we have the luggage then we have the camera then we have the journal the ship the train and I'm going to do the last one for you on camera which is the globe it's the one that I haven't done so I think I'll just go through I'll just start the card off for you and rather than go through all the measurements I'll just show you so when you get the note cards they will come like that and they're already pre-scored so you've literally just got to fold them in half it's just so easy now in I've already done the inside of this one because I like my cards to continue on inside as well so you'll see like for the train for instance I've done the train outside in stays on jet black 
after sponging some Whisper White in Bermuda Bay and then inside I've stamped it with crumb cake. So it's up to you what colours you use. So I've just used a black matte underneath the Whisper White and then I, before sticking the Whisper White down I just, using my grid paper, lined up the globe stamp and I just stamped it a little bit off the Whisper White and then just using some snail adhesive applied it to the black backing so it corresponds with what I'm going to be putting on the front and then just used snail adhesive and stuck it inside the card and then the inside's done. I would recommend when you're doing these note cards just cut out all your pieces for the whole six note cards and it's like an assembly line and you just get them done so quickly. So then for the front, the designer series paper I'm using is typeset. Now if you want to get this one, you are limited to the time that um, you've only got to the end of this month to get it and then our new catalogue comes out. So that is typeset specialty designer series paper and you get 24 sheets of 12 inch by 12 inch and it's a really good designer series paper to have in your collection. So to start with on the outside of the card we're going to have a piece of black and it's going to measure just a little bit under 5 inches by 2, two and a half. So it's 5 and a quarter by 2 and a half. And that's just going to go on there. But before I do that, I'm going to bring in my designer paper. which I just make a little bit smaller, just make it a quarter inch smaller and I'm just going to mat that onto there. So I'll just grab my snail adhesive. This typeset paper is thinner than the normal designer series paper that we have at Stamping Up, but it's, it's really good to work with. And I do like the grid paper because I can line up my card and I know that I'm going to get it straight. Now I just put the top piece down first. And then straight down like that. Then we're going to just add some snail. And as I say, if you cut all your pieces out for your note cards all at once, it's just so easy. It didn't take me very long at all to make the note cards that I showed you previously. And I thought I'll just keep this last one and show you on camera. And then that just goes down on there like so. Then we're going to bring in a piece for the outside which is 3 inches by 3 inches. I've used basic black cardstock. And then I'm going to layer a piece of Whisper White which I'm going to sponge with Bermuda Bay ink. And that measures 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths. So I just grab my Bermuda Bay and my sponge that I've been using to do the other ones. Now, you should be used to how I sponge. I do get a little bit of ink off on the grid paper first. And I just mainly go round the outside first and 
And it's up to you, like you could just you could use a different colour corresponding cardstock if you didn't if you didn't want to do the sponging. But for those that know me, sponging is one of my favourite techniques that I use quite a lot of. I think it makes a, a lovely background and this Bermuda Bay colour is just lovely on black. But when you're stamping your stamp from the Traveller set, especially because we're just stamping it in black, I highly recommend that you use the Stays On Jet Black Ink because it is a more vibrant black ink but you will need to clean your your stamps after using the stays on ink pad you will need to use the stays on cleaner to keep your stamps nice and clean so they, they're not stained so I haven't really spent much time sponging that and when you, if you have your, your six cards all cut ready to go, you can just sponge the whole six one after another. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my Stays On Jet Black Ink. And with the Stays On Jet Black Ink, always make sure you replace it with that cover to stop it drying out. So I'll just get rid of that Bermuda Bay because we've finished with that. And the only stamp I haven't used out of the Traveller yet is the Globe. So we're just going to stamp up the Globe. Now I like to turn my stamp over, especially when I'm using Stays On with this Traveller set because it is quite a detailed stamp. The whole six stamps are very detailed and you want to get your ink into all those grooves that the artist has put on there for us and made it so much easier for us. So that's nicely inked up so I'm just going to line my square, just go down in the middle just nice and firmly just hold it down try not to rock it and then it's just I have got a little bit of mark there but that's alright gives you the general idea so then just going to let that dry for a minute so we'll just turn that over And just pop some snail on there. Bring in our three inch by three inch piece of corresponding black. Which way do I want it? I want it that way. Sometimes some sides just look diff just look a bit better than the others for some reason. And I want it equal. And then I'm just going to bring that down on there. Then we're just going to pop it on there with my snail. It's always sitting right in front of me and I can't see it. So I hope you'll give these note cards a try. They they make a lovely gift, especially with the tote bag, but I will come back in the next video and only most probably in a couple of days time and just show you how I made that tote bag and then you can make some of those for gifts or for the market or whatever you want. Then with the little bit of little thanks, I just put a little bit of snail at the top, make sure I'm putting it on the right side, just at the top there and then I just pop it wherever I want, 
Now there is a little bit adhesive on there so a tip for you is just run your your eraser adhesive eraser along there and it will lift off that bit of snail. No, I made the whole other five without this happening. It's just hilarious. Turn on the camera and something goes wrong. So then you've got that one all finished as well. So we've got six lovely note cards. I previously stamped the globe on the envelope that comes with the note cards to, so it's matching. So now we have our six note cards all ready to go into our matching tote bag as a lovely gift for someone. So I hope you'll give those note cards a try and I will come back in a later tutorial and show you how I made the tote bag. Thank you for spending some of your day with me.